Strata Worldwide. The Vehicle or Pedestrian Proximity Detection System, or PDS for short. The purpose of this video is to explain why it's so important to adopt the PDS system to improve safety on mines. Always remember, machines have right of way. The PDS system may not be used as a lockout device. Common sense is still a requirement. Potential hazards and risks. Firstly, we'll explain the types of hazards the PDS system addresses and the harm machinery can cause when the PDS system is not implemented. A safer mining environment. Secondly, we'll explain Strata's PDS system, its components, and the way it operates to create a safer working environment. Preventing a near-miss incident. Lastly, we'll show you an actual event and how Strata's PDS prevented a near-fatal incident that was caused by moving machinery. We'll use 3D animation to guide you through the engaging world of virtual reality showcasing the remarkable proximity detection system that is brought to you by Strata. Potential hazards and risks. Moving machinery can cause fatalities and near-miss incidents. Those of us who work underground will know that we often encounter hazards caused by moving machinery. These are hazards such as pinning, crushing, and striking, hazards that often cause harm and injury. In fact, incidents caused by moving machinery are one of the main causes of fatalities in the mining industry. These incidents are caused by the following factors. Poor visibility in and around vehicles, working in confined spaces around machines, uneven and slippery ground conditions, and sometimes Fatigue. Strata envisioned a safer mining environment and so engineered the reputable and reliable proximity detection system. So how does the PDS system work? Strata developed a low frequency magnetic field generator and like a magnet, it creates invisible magnetic fields around itself. Through a controller box, a technician can adjust the size and the strength of the magnetic fields. This is a TPL cap lamp, worn by the miners and the pedestrians. Whenever a TPL cap lamp is detected in a field generator's magnetic zone, the PDS system will be activated. So when these magnetic field generators are fitted to a machine, the same principle applies. The field generators, magnetic fields, are adjusted and combined to form an invisible magnetic zone around the machine. An employee wearing a TPL cap lamp will activate the PDS system the moment it's detected in the machine's magnetic zone. These magnetic zones are further divided into three proximity zones. Warning zone 1, warning zone 2 and the danger zone. Due to the proximity bubble that's created by the generators, employees will be detected whether they're working at heights or lying on the ground. The PDS components. The system uses the following components. The controller box, the flasher unit, the display pod, the magnetic field generators and the personal alarm device, better known as the TPL cap lamp, carried by the employees. The TPL cap lamp is easily recognized by two distinctive features. Firstly, by the visor mounted proximity indicator. When an employee moves into a machine's proximity zone, the proximity indicator LEDs will flash and the buzzer will sound an alarm to warn the employee. 
The second feature on the TPL are the three buttons on the battery pack. S1, communication check. To do a signal verification check between a machine and a TPL, S1 is pressed and held down for one second. The display pod will flash a red light and the generators a yellow light once communication is established. S2, PDS failure override. When a machine's generator is faulty, the PDS system can be overridden. To do this, S2 must be pressed down and held for five seconds. Only the faulty generator will be deactivated for one minute, giving the engineer time to move the machine to a safe area to attend to the fault. The other generators will still be active and the machine running. Emergency stop. In some cases, all machines in the line of sight must be disabled. To do this, any of the two buttons must be pressed and held simultaneously. The TPL cap lamp of the employee who actioned the emergency stop will show a solid red LED light and the buzzer will have a continuous sound. Only the machines in the line of sight will be disabled. Other machines will still continue operation. The employee who pressed the emergency stop is the only one who can deactivate the emergency signal. To reset the emergency stop, press S1 and Menu at the same time. All machines in the line of sight will be reactivated. All PDS-related events and actions are logged into a database. These actions can be downloaded for review or even watched live when using the contract system. Managing the TPL The TPL's battery and communication signal is tested when the workers walk past a remote generator. A screen will display the worker's name and the TPL's serial number assigned to the miner. A green indication shows that the TPL's battery and communication signal has passed. A yellow indication will show that there's a voltage problem with the battery pack. A red indication shows that the TPL's battery or communication signal has failed or that the battery is flat. If the employee walks past the remote generator and their name is not shown on the screen, this would indicate that the pad is dead and its communication lost. In all three of the above cases, the employees should return to the lamp room for a new TPL system. The proximity zones. Let's take a closer look at the PDS proximity zones. When a TPL cap lamp is detected in proximity warning zone one, the employee's TPL cap lamp will flash a red light and sound an alarm every six seconds. The machine's display pod will signal a yellow light. The machine's generator will signal a yellow light. The flasher unit will warn all employees. The machine's operation will slow down to speed one. When a TPL cap lamp is detected in proximity warning zone two, the employee's TPL cap lamp will flash a red light and sound an alarm more rapidly every three seconds. The machine's display pod will continue signaling a yellow light. The machine's generator will continue signaling a yellow light. The flasher unit will warn all employees. The machine's operation will continue on speed one. When a TPL cap lamp is detected in the no-go zone or in the danger zone, the employee's TPL cap lamp will signal a red LED light and the alarm will sound continuously. The machine's display pod will switch to a red light. The machine's generator will switch to a red light. The flasher unit will warn all employees. The machine will shut down immediately. Once Danger Zone 3 has been cleared, the machine can start up again and continue operation on Speed 1. Once the employee clears all the proximity zones, the machine can go back to normal speed again. 
Some machines are also equipped with silent zones. Operators who move within these silent zones will not activate the PDS system. The moment an operator exits the silent zone and enters the danger zone, the machine will be disabled. The PDS system can be mounted on the oscillating parts of certain machines, so when these parts move, so will the magnetic fields to protect the pedestrians. This is an additional safeguard provided by Stratis PDS. But what happens when the machine operator can't see the pedestrian? The generator's low-frequency magnetic waves pass through the pillars, so when a TPL cap lamp is detected in the machine's proximity zone, the system will activate. What we'll show you now is a reconstruction of an actual event where Strata's PDS system saved a pedestrian's life. The CM operator was busy aligning the machine when he felt dizzy and collapsed. A colleague saw what happened and rushed to meet him. At the same time, a shuttle car was driving towards them, unaware of the terrible danger ahead. The PDS system activated the moment the TPL cap lamps were detected in the machine's proximity zones. The machine stopped in time and so Strata's PDS system saved these pedestrians' lives. The Strata's PDS system has been implemented in numerous coal mines around the world and has been proven to be a reliable and reputable proximity detection system. With the Strata's PDS system, your mine will be safer. Ask your Strata representative where the system can be implemented for other applications, such as diesel machines. Strata, where safety is success.